Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm Under the Street, and today we're looking at how to rip DVDs for educational purposes only. Now, a while ago, I did a video on my channel on how to rip DVDs using VLC. And VLC is a media player, it's a huge program, absolutely, like, it's super popular, it's available on all major platforms, and I absolutely love VLC, I still use it, but I had a lot of people asking questions in the comments of that video. That video actually became the most popular video on this channel, it's kind of funny. But so many people had problems with VLC because it was kind of complicated to do. I tried to provide a straightforward tutorial, but if your computer's settings were a little different or if you didn't have some codec or something installed and it might not have worked for you. There's a program that rips DVDs a little bit easier than VLC. It's not quite as popular as VLC, but it's something that is just as well known in the media production industry. It's a program called Handbrake. And Handbrake is used for encoding media files, but in addition to encoding media files, you can also use it to rip DVDs. Now, like I said, legally, this video is for educational purposes only. Piracy is bad. You should definitely support the franchises that you're buying media from, because even if the actors and actresses are getting paid big bucks, there are a lot of people like editors who don't get paid very much. And as someone who edits video regularly, I can tell you that it is a very tedious task. So in case you weren't aware, I am a bit of a Stargate fan. And I have some Stargate media here that I want to enjoy on my tablet, my Nexus 7, which is sitting right back here. However, as you can probably tell, there is no DVD player on my Nexus. They forgot to put one into this model. You know, I'm not quite sure where they could have fit one in anywhere because this is a pretty compact device, but I would like to enjoy my Stargates on my Nexus. So naturally, because there's no DVD player in my Nexus, I have to rip my Stargate DVDs onto my computer and copy them onto my Nexus. That's for my personal use only, I'm not sharing them with anyone, so I consider it to be, you know, morally and legally correct. So I've got two things here I will show you how to rip. First I will show you how to rip feature length films, then I will show you how to rip TV shows. And I've got Stargate for both of them. So let's go ahead and cut to the desktop, and like I said we are using Handbrake for this tutorial. So let me open up Handbrake here. And this is what the main window looks like. The first thing that we're going to do is just take a look at how to rip an entire movie. So let me take my, my DVD here and let me put it into my computer. So I just put the DVD in and we should get a pop-up or something saying, Hey, I noticed you put a DVD in. Yeah, right there. Uh, we're not going to touch that. We are using Handbrake to rip this DVD. We want to save it to a file. So the first thing that we want to do is configure our Handbrake settings. You can go through and look at all of the different video profile settings. Most of the defaults should work for most people. Honestly, you should not need to change any of this. So yeah, if you want to, you know, turn bit rates up or adjust your quality or whatever, you can totally do that. I'm going to leave all of these settings alone. It should be noted if you drop this devices list down, you can see if I want to watch this on an Apple TV, what, what settings do I need? Or if I want to watch this on an iPad, what settings do I need? But yeah, I'm just going to leave this at normal. There is a high profile version if you just want to bump up your quality a little bit. But yeah, I'll leave it at normal. One thing that I am going to do is change this from M4V to MP4 because, you know, MP4 is what that's supposed to be. M4V is just how iTunes and QuickTime spell it. So if you're using this on a Mac, then M4V might be normal for you. But I just want my video files to say MP4 because that's what I'm used to, so... I will go to my preferences and uncheck use iPod iTunes friendly file extension for MP4. Now we have the normal MP4 file extension. If you want to use MKV instead, if you're an open source enthusiast and you care about, you know, the format that you're saving to, then you can use MKV, but I'm just going to stick with MP4. And you can see there are some options here. If you were encoding video to put on a website, you could check that web optimized thing. If you were encoding a very large video, then you can check that. But yeah, like I said, just gonna leave all of the video settings at the default settings for right now. And we are going to go up here and click source. Now you can use Handbrake to encode any video file that you want to. So if I have this installing Antergos Linux video that I want to encode, I can use Handbrake to do that. But since you want to rip a DVD, what you have to do is go down here to the bottom of this window, detected DVD devices, select that, and I've only got one DVD drive in my system, if you've got multiple, then just, you know, trial and error until you find the one that works. So I'm going to click on that, 
click OK, and it is going to go into my DVD drive and get some information about the movie that I have in. And it is called Stargate The Ark of Truth. It's not called Ark of the Truth, it's called The Ark of Truth, so I will change that. But aside from that, it's spot on. So you can see it's scanning titles, so it's going through and finding all of the different video files on the DVD. And it's going to find the title that it wants to rip, and it's going to select all of the chapters, and it is going to give you just the entire movie. So that's what we want for this first tutorial. You can see there are a lot of different titles on this DVD. That's because there are like bonus features and there are different menus and things. But of course, generally, the longest title is going to be your movie. And yeah, you want to select the first chapter all the way up to the last chapter. So if we just wanted to rip this to my videos folder, uh, just take this DVD, save it to an MP4 file. All you have to do is do what you just did, click start. And you can see down here, scanning the media file and it will immediately begin encoding. The time it takes to do this will vary depending on how fast your computer is. You can see I've got eight virtual cores up here, so I'm running at like 120 frames per second right now. If you're on a slower computer, this will be slower because it is not just ripping the video off of the DVD, it is also reformatting it. You can see it's going from an MPEG-2 codec to an MP4 codec. All right, so we're just about finished up there, and we'll wait for those last couple of percentages to finish. All right, and the encoding is complete. So you can see it'll give you a notification. And now if we go into our videos folder, then we will see the video that we just encoded and we can open that up. And there we have the entire movie, just like we wanted. And I'm not going to let it play through the entire thing, but I'll skip through so you can see, you know, it's got the entire movie on here. And yeah, yeah, that's how you can just very simply and easily take one entire movie and rip it. Now, I've had people ask me the last time I did a how to rip DVDs video. You can see down here there are different chapters. This is chapter one. Here we've got chapter two, uh, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five. Usually chapters are scenes or they're groupings of scenes or sections of scenes. So yeah, you can see different chapters that we've got. Somebody asked me, how do I rip chapter three, I think they said. What if I only want chapter three? Uh, what do I do then? Well, if you only want chapter three, then what you can do is after you select your source and handbrake, you still go here, select your DVD device, click OK. It will scan through your DVD, just like it did last time. Only this time, before you click start, go to chapters and select chapter three through chapter three. So we'll say the Ark of Truth chapter three. And if we click start now, if you do chapter three through chapter four, that will actually take chapters three and four. So if you just want chapter three, then you do chapter three through chapter three. Because when it says chapter three, it's not talking about the start of chapter three, it's talking about the entire chapter. I know it's kind of confusing, but there's no chapter zero. Think of it that way, if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, if we just want chapter 3, we can encode that, and it will go and find the tiny little bit that's chapter 3, and you can see it pulling out just chapter 3. It's going to take a lot quicker, because it doesn't have to do the entire movie this time. So now, after that's finished, then we can go to our videos folder, and as soon as that finishes, then we can open up... You can see here, whoa, big fight scene. This is chapter 3, and it's just the 2 minutes and 8 seconds of chapter 3. If we go over here, you can see chapter 3 is indeed the spaceships coming down. So yeah, that is how to rip just a specific chapter from a DVD. Now what if you don't want to rip a movie? What if you want to rip a TV show? Well, I am now going to take the movie out of my DVD drive, and now I am putting in a TV show into my DVD drive. Let me put in disc 1 of Stargate SG-1 Season 10. So I'll put that in. We'll wait for my system to detect it. So we will open up Handbrake, and once again we will click on Source, select that DVD drive, click OK. It will go and scan the DVD once again. This time though, instead of there being one really long title, there are four shorter titles, and then like I said, there are some bonus features and menus and things. But these four 43 minute, 32 second titles, usually all of your episodes of the same show are going to be the same length. So we've got the, the four episodes on this disc. I want the third episode on this disc, the Pegasus Project, so I'll go down here and click three. Now if the first title on here says 13 seconds, then you can probably guess 
that's not going to be the title you want. That's going to be either an ad or it's going to be a menu or something. I actually don't know if menus, it doesn't look like menus are showing up here. I don't think menus are showing up here, but yeah, the previews and ads and things are showing up here. So you're going to want to use some common sense, only pick the titles that look around the right length. So like I said, these four titles are the right length. These are my four episodes of the show. I want episode three, The Pegasus Project. You can see a little preview there, and I know just from this preview that it's the correct episode because they're in Atlantis. So now, name your file what you want to name it. SG1 Season 10, Episode 3, The Pegasus Project. Click Start, and it will go and encode. Once again, not going to take quite as long as an entire movie because it's a lot shorter. And once again, while that's going, I'll say, I'm not going to demonstrate this, but it's the same thing. If you want to select chapters, you can do that. Go to chapters here. You can actually do even more specific things here. If you want to select specific amounts of seconds, only do the first 30 seconds, you can do that by going here and typing in 0 through 30 for the seconds. And duration for that is obviously going to be 30 seconds. If you want to do frames, you can do the first 30 frames, which will be one second. Or you can do the first 60 frames, which will be two seconds. No idea why you'd want to do those, but you can do that right here. You can select how many chapters you want, how many seconds you want, how many frames you want. So yeah, that's really cool. And that's another example. You could do those things in VLC like I showed you how to in my last video, but Handbrake makes it a lot easier. Handbrake has nice drop-down menus. It's got nice, you know, text box put in what you want things here. If there's only chapters one through 13, it doesn't let you put in chapter 14. The plus stops at 13. So yeah, Handbrake just makes things a bit easier than VLC. And by the way, say you wanted to rip all four episodes off of this, you could go select episode four, all chapters, and then you could click in queue and that will add it to the queue. So I'm going to cancel this in just a second, but we can click that, um, another queue job. Oh, so you'll want to specify a different name. What's what's episode four? Episode four is called Insiders. So I can put in the title I want. Once again, click NQ. And now you can see encoding job has changed from one of one to one of two. And if we click on this Q button, it shows you all of the things you have queued. So see, I've got this episode going. And as soon as that's done, it would go on to this episode automatically. So you could queue uh, all four episodes or all eight episodes or however many are on your DVD. Now I'm going to cancel that because I don't actually want to rip that, but that is how you could queue multiple episodes or multiple titles for ripping. If you want to go and customize your video settings, um, you can hover over any of these things and it will explain to you what they do. For instance, this is the quality slider. You normally want to go somewhere between 22 and 18. 20 is the default for handbrake. You can change your frame rate if you want it to be, you know, 30 frames per second or a specific frame rate, then you can do that. You can select, you know, whatever, how many frames per second you want. But yeah, I'm not going to explain what all of these do because it's beyond the scope of this video. But once again, an example of how Handbrake is much, uh, much more user-friendly than VLC. Handbrake explains what all of these options do. So yeah, that's very nice. If you are using this for like a media collection, you can go to this tags option and you can put in titles and actors and, you know, descriptions and things. And you can put in this stuff if you use a program that uses video tags that sorts all of your stuff so that you can like search by actor, search by release date. You can go in and put that stuff in manually. It will not pull them in automatically if they're not on the DVD. But yeah, you can go and put them in yourself if you want to. All right, so that's done. And now when we go into our videos folder, we will see the Pegasus project right here. I will meet it so that I don't get pulled off of YouTube. But you can see we have, where's the title name? Where's the, uh, should be here. There should be. There we go. So you can see this is the episode that I wanted. So yeah, that once again is how you rip DVDs with Handbrake. It's a little bit easier than ripping DVDs with VLC. Once again, remember this was for educational purposes only. So before you do this at home, make sure that you're familiar with, you know, the laws surrounding this stuff in your area. And just don't be stupid. Don't put this stuff online. You paid for the DVD. Other people should have to pay for it too. But yeah, for your own personal usage, that is how you rip DVDs using Handbrake. I'm actually going to show you real quick Handbrake's homepage, handbrake.fr, and you can go there, get Handbrake. It's available for 
any of the major platforms out there. And then over to the download section, or if you have any issues, instead of coming to me in the comments, you can go over to community and support, where they will actually support you instead of asking me to support you. Please, if you have an issue, go over to this page, not nerdonthestreet.com. Of course, you always are free to go to nerdonthestreet.com and submit a forum post if you have any issues. Just keep in mind, if it's handbrake specific, you might as well go over to the handbrake website and ask them about it instead, because I had a whole lot of people asking me about issues they had with VLC when I did the video on how to do this with VLC. I don't make VLC, I don't make handbrake, I was just showing you how to use the tools. If you have any issues, I will put handbrake's website in the comments. So yeah, head on over there if you have any problems, or of course, yeah, you're always welcome, at nerdonthestreet.com as well. For now though, that's all. I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm Nerd on the Street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.